Welcome to North Carolina Wine TV. I'm your co-host Kip Bodner. And I'm your other co-host Jeff Cohen. And we're here drinking North Carolina wine, hoping it'll fix Kip up a little bit, who has a sore throat. Fix my voice <laughs> a little bit. Yeah. Um, what are we drinking? What are we drinking? We are drinking 2007 Cabernet Sauvignon from Shelton Vineyards. In the Yadkin Valley. What do we know about Shelton Vineyards? And what do we know about the year 2007? What do we know about 2007? It was a hot year in 2007. It was a hot year It was really hot. Which made some awesome red wines so far. A lot of the 2007 red wines we've had so far have been off the charts good. Yep. So, interested to see how this stack up. Um, tell folks a little bit about Shelton Vineyards. Shelton Vineyards, is, it's actually one of the, one of the earlier mm -hmm. wineries in North Carolina, kind of Part of, part of helping establish the Adkin Valley yeah. as, a, as a source for great wine here in North Carolina. And then one of the largest wineries yeah. in North Carolina produced a whole lot of cases of wine, but also very different varietals. Mm -hmm. We've had a lot from them in the past. I had a couple of other vintages of their Cabernet, so I'm interested to see how the 2007 stacks up. Well, that's true. Is this the... Is this the third different vintage we've had? I think so. Is it well, fourth? maybe we'd be fourth. We've had, I think it's fourth. We've had several different yeah. Shelton caps. I think we've had no, 05, 06, and, and 2000. This, 2000, and then this is going to be the 07. So let's, let's see. Let's give this a little smell. This is, yeah. should be pretty full body, mm -hmm. pretty bone dry, thanks to the uh, winometer on the back of the bottle yeah. here. So let's give this a go. Whoa, it smells warm. Yeah. There's a little alcohol heat coming mm -hmm. through. Yes, yeah. I'm, I'm getting some of that. What else are we getting? What am I getting? Uh, some black fruit. Mm -hmm. Some oak. Yeah, some oak. Some yeah. woody toasted oak happening there. Mm hmm. Mm. Kind of some herbs, kind of like maybe some yeah. sage. Okay. So a woodsiness to this. Yeah, definitely, definitely some woodsiness. I would agree. A lot of alcohol. Yeah. High in alcohol. I'm I'm glad you're getting that too. Yeah. It's not just me. This is one of the more heavy alcohol wines in the nose that that I think we've had recently on the show. So yeah, let's give it a try. Yeah. Whoa, that alcohol. Comes through. Really tannic wine. Yeah, very, very tannic. Like not just on the edges of your tongue, mm -hmm. but all over. At first, first glance, so we're drinking the baby. This this guy is <laughs> too young right now to, yeah. to drink. If you have any of this or think about getting any of this, set it aside for several years. I mean, this is this is a big wine, mm -hmm. but it's very, very tannic. Right. It needs several years to kind of mellow down. Well, and we've had it. We, we've had this bottle for probably six months, yeah. seven months, and so it is, it's had time to rest, but it's mm -hmm. still, still really, really young. Yeah. Well, and it's interesting because the other, 2000, other, 2000, the other 2007 wines we've had... Have not been made this way. No, and, and have, not, had, have not felt too young to drink. No, they have been very fruit forward. Yeah. Drink now, kind of mm -hmm. yummy wines, and this right. is much more of a—it's an old world wine, right? Like, right. so old world wines are more subdued. They're not big mm -hmm. blackberry cherry bombs, and this this is very much like that. It is is herbaceous. It is kind of medium bodied. Mm -hmm. It has really complex tannins. This is a sit it for five ten years kind of bottle of wine and give it a try. I think. Well, and we had the, we had the two thousand, mm -hmm. the two thousand. Two thousand. It was last summer, so it would have been two thousand nine. Yeah, and it was great. It was it great. Was a great yeah. bottle of wine. Yeah, and this needs some of that time. This mm -hmm. needs to just sit away in a dark, cool place. Yeah, be forgotten about for several years, and then go back to it. Uh, at its current point, it's probably a three, two and a half. Um, I'll let we'll both take another shot. Let's see here. If, if you, the way I think of wine, when you taste mm -hmm. wine, there are sort of the three parts, 
and you know obviously the front the middle and the finish right and usually they flow from one into another and this doesn't it doesn't quite feel right like the the pieces don't quite connect and they don't sort of flow in the it's normal manner. It's too young. Yeah. It's too young. There's all, all the pieces there that just yeah. haven't melted really yet. Yeah. yeah. Um, so what do you rate this? Yeah, I, I think because of because of age, mm -hmm. you know, it probably is like a two and a half. This is this is not a one for now. No, no, no. It's in two and a half is kind of a misleading rating right. because you would think we wouldn't it's not a good wine. It's it's a good wine, it's just not a good wine today. Right. Like it's that's it's really sound strange, but I wouldn't drink if you had a bottle of this wine. I wouldn't drink it for five years. Right. And then that's a much better place for this wine. This wine yeah. in five years will be very complex, have evolved. A lot of the tannins will mellow, and it'll have a nice kind of the tannins. And like five right. years will be really nice because it'll be those rounded tannins mm -hmm. right along the side of your mouth. Yeah, it'll be perfect. So two and a half today could be a lot better years from now. So right. So. Pick up a bottle of this and put it away, because lots of lots of wines that people think of as putting away are generally pretty expensive. Mm -hmm. Do we do we I know think the retail on this is about sixteen dollars? Okay, yeah, general generally they're sixteen dollars, and that is a really fair price for a wine that you're going to put away for five years that's going to age really nicely. Well, I would agree. Um, yeah, a lot of the two thousand sevens in North Carolina can. Can stand some age. So if you're, if you find some red wine in North Carolina, different vineyards that are 2007 vintage, definitely recommend putting a little pack together and kind of stowing it away for a rainy day a few years down the road. That being said, our episode is done. Here's to the Old North State. You ready? Yep. <coughs> That's an outtake. Mm, that is an outtake.